It pains me to even ask this question, but has Apple become boring? Has it been boring for a while? Let's talk about it. And the question of the day is, do you think Apple is getting boring? Have they been boring for a while? Or are you completely satisfied with what they have and you think they're innovating like hell? Let me know down in the comments. So Apple announced some new products with the M2 chip. They also announced a new HomePod. We have a new Mac mini with the M2, M2 Pro. We also have a new MacBook Pro 14 inch and 16 inch. And normally I'd be like, oh my God, a new Apple product, I have to have it. But the physical design minus some very minor changes has been basically the same. Recently, and by recently, I mean in the past year or so, maybe even longer, it seems like Apple has been coasting. It just seems like they're taking the same basic physical dimensions, the same basic designs, injecting that new processor in so you get another 20% bump in performance or whatever. Where is the innovation? Where is the fun? Where is the pep? I think that's what Apple is missing right now. And I use like the full gamut of the Apple ecosystem pretty much. I have the MacBook Pro 2021 14 inch. Love that machine. It's still my main machine. The video that you are watching right now was edited on that machine. I also love my iPhone 14 Pro. Beautiful phone, so fast. I also love my iPads, the 12.9 inch M1, as well as the 11 inch 2018. Still slaps. Apple TV 4K, amazing. Apple Watch Series 5 in 2023. Still really fast, still totally fine for what I need it for. These Apple products are not only minimal, but they're functional. And I use them every day. Like it's insane how much Apple has influenced the way I use technology, the types of technology that I use. But taking the shell of a previous model, which Apple has done so many times in the last several years, and then putting in those new internals, I just don't think that cuts it anymore, at least for me. Because there's almost no time when I'm using any of my current Apple products, when I'm like, damn, I wish this was like 20% faster. That doesn't happen, it's not a thing. I think the speed has been insane. Like Apple's own chips, they're fast, they're fast as hell. And for my workflow, even as a YouTuber, as a pretty heavy content creator and consumer, for my workflow, I think it kind of eclipsed, like it kind of flatlined in terms of performance at like even just the base M1. The M1 Mac Mini, the M1 iMac, the M1 Pro in my MacBook Pro. For me, this Mac Pro from 2021 with the M1 Pro chip is phenomenal. It's kind of like the holy grail of laptops. And the only thing, the only thing that excites me in this new model, this M2 Pro model of the 14 inch and 16 inch is not the speed performance of 20% better, 20% this and that. That's cute, that's amazing. But the only actually exciting part to me is the HDMI port has finally been updated to send out a higher refresh rate signal, I think up to 240 Hertz. So what actually excites me about Apple, what have they done so well in the past that makes me and millions of other people and probably you just race to that freaking Apple store to get the latest stuff. For me, it's mostly the iconic designs, like the physical industrial designs that they put out. The minimalism, the beautiful sharp lines, the build quality. Those are the things that I look for in a new Apple product that really make me excited to buy it. And then the last few years, there's only been like a small handful of Apple products that have actually really excited me and been like, oh wow, that's a very different physical design. The M1 iMac comes to mind. I think that's one of the most unique and interesting and just completely iconic Apple designs. The MacBook Pro 14 and 16 inch I think are extremely iconic. The machine itself is so beautiful. The screen, the display quality is so beautiful. That felt like a pretty dramatic jump. When the iPad Pro got the M1 chip, that felt like the end game iPad Pro. And I still use my 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro every day. But a lot of Apple products to me have totally just plateaued. It seems like Apple has reached a kind of coasting point. And some people may argue that this happened a long time ago, like five or six years ago. Another example of this is the new HomePod that they just announced. It looks amazing. Yet it looks very familiar because it's basically the same physical design again with slightly updated internals so that it's probably faster. It may sound a little better, but they could have at least given us a new color or something that felt like it was a refreshed device, like make it red, make it yellow, make it orange like they did with the HomePod mini. I think that is what needs to happen with Apple. They need to start giving us something physically different when it comes to their designs, just something that differentiates obviously a new device from an old device. Apple, you gave us purple iPads and I was here for that. I am here for that. A blue and orange iMac, like yes, please. But the missing piece of the puzzle, at least for me personally, and let me know what you think in the comments, but for me, it's the physical design. I wanna see something fresh. I wanna see something new. I'm even okay if it's the same speed as a previous generation. I just want it to feel and look different. Design-wise, refresh these devices, Apple, because to me, they're getting a little bit stale. 
fail. So I don't know, I'm still a huge Apple fan. I stan Apple, but let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think Apple has innovated enough? Are they still on top of the game or are they kind of losing their footing? And let me know that you watched to the end by leaving a dolphin emoji in the comments below. And then you are officially part of the hashtag House of Aqua. Add me on social media at B3NAQUA and be sure to smash the like button and subscribe down below, of course, if you haven't already for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. And by then, hopefully Apple will have released something extremely spicy and then I can just kind of eat my words and delete this freaking video from the internet.